Oh my gosh. Okay. Whew. So, good morning. And it's actually morning, you guys. It's actually morning. It is about 11 o'clock. I just got situated with some stuff in the house. But y'all, I am tired. So over the last like two weeks, I have been recording and editing and doing a whole lot of planning. And I'm really excited. I really can't say anything today, but in a couple of days, I'll be able to come and let you guys know exactly what's going on. But, but as you can see behind me, the shelving has arrived. And I'm really excited about that. Pretty much what I'm gonna be doing today is like a quick little cleanup. I didn't wanna leave you guys all the way stagnant. On top of all the editing that I already have on the table, I was like, you know what, let me just do something really quickly because I have to clean here anyway to get the next part of the recording for tomorrow done. I have to clean up the mess from last week. Well, technically Saturday. Saturday is not like the last day I was recording and stuff. So I wanna get the house clean. So I figured while I'm doing that, I can go ahead and um, I guess record that. That way you guys have a little clean with me. Y'all say y'all miss me cleaning, but you know, cleaning just ain't the same. But um, yeah, I'm tired, but not a sleepy tired, like a, oh my gosh, it's a lot of work doing your own stuff, okay? Working for yourself is a lot, a lot of work. But I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning. And I, of course, you guys are going to see the book. Um, of course, you guys are going to get to see the shelving. So last night, me and Babe put it together. Let me just, I'm going to go ahead and start. So that way you guys can see what this actually looks like, all right? Before we even get into this, I just want to say, check the description box. I'm going to have a link down below. So I'm going to go ahead and give you my negative. I, I'm five feet. No taller, just five feet, right? I thought this was a little bit bigger, like taller. Because online, it looked like it was pretty tall, you know? Like, I'm thinking, and maybe because the ceilings here are 10 feet is why it looks so shrunken, which is why I'm like, be careful with scale. Because um, this was probably from the floor on up, but maybe like five, four. So I'm like, oh, okay. Um... What I ended up doing, and I'm not going to recommend it for you, but if it, can, if it can work, then that's great. Because the walls actually had studs. So this side is going to stud, and then this side here is going to stud, which was really great. So what I ended up doing is I actually went up about, I want to say 40 inches. This could be different for you. Let me get the measuring tape real quick. She's coming. Okay, so I can tell you guys exactly where the last shelving needs. This unit from the very last shelving on, on this right here is up 21 inches. And so what I was thinking, and then keep in mind also that this one here is on the stud, this one here is on the stud, and then this one here is also on the stud. And so the other one is sitting on an anchor. The anchor is for the weight of 75. Just keep that in mind. So we've got 75, 75, and it's on a stud. So we're good and secure in the wall. 100% if you're going to have it floating, make sure it's secure. Make sure you have the right weight because you're not only measuring the weight of the shelving itself, but whatever you may put on it. So you may want to go with something that's like 150, that way you have 150 on the left, 150 on the right, which now give you the weight capacity of 300. So I'm just telling y'all, make sure you, if you're gonna do it like this, do it. So anyway, mine's is technically up. But what I was thinking was possibly to order two ottomans and just place them underneath here. I actually went to the store and I found some ottomans, but anyway, that's not here there right now. But two ottomans. I don't know if this is gonna fit, but I'm gonna move this chair just so you kind of get an idea of what I'm saying. Use your imagination. So this is not how this is going to be situated, but I want to show you what in my mind I was thinking. That's why I decided to go up the 21 inches because most ottomans are either 18 or 19 inches high. So I was like, oh, this would be really cute. 
I can do a small ottoman up underneath there and another one up underneath there. This right here is a dining chair from Baker, if you guys don't know, but it's from Baker. And so I just pulled it because it needs to go back into the living room. The shelving unit should be on the floor. I want to just make sure that I press that again. It should be on the floor, but I didn't like the height. I wanted it to be taller. Like I said, I have this huge mirror here that's pretty tall. The artwork is hanging really high. And then this was just like, it just wasn't giving life the way that I needed it to. So I didn't do that. But I want to stress that it should be on the floor. I woke up this morning extremely excited. I went to bed like, I'm going to do this right now because I still have boxes that I haven't unpacked. For those of you guys that are new, I've only been in this house now for going on two months. And so, this is my second month, right? Yeah, this is my, this is like the, the ending. Tw the 24th made it my second month here. So I've only been here for two months. I have about eight more boxes that I haven't opened, but by the time I get done with these two, I'll be down to six. Those are going to stay closed just because those things go into my office and I don't really have like a huge office space, but we still make it big moves in a small office. Keep that in mind. You ain't got to have no big office to still work, but um, just wanted to let y'all know that. So I'm just going to pretty much clean up. I still have like three sections that aren't completed with what I'm working on and I have to get done today. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning up. Not only am I cleaning, I'm also putting some of the furniture, well, not some of the furniture, most of the furniture back where it belonged. I was, y'all, I've been doing stuff. Let me show y'all. You really probably can't even see it, but I'll show y'all. I don't know if you guys can actually see the color, but I did paint this wall right here. And then this wall here, you're going to see it a little bit better because I'm going to do that in white. And then I'm going to do the, the, the crown molding in that really, really brilliant white color. So you're going to see the, the difference in the colors. Everything is going to be really nice. I just got to find somebody that paint to come in and do the rest of the paint work. But I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning. you guys i am done let me just say overall i am really and in truly loving my space it's so crazy because as i'm going over with you guys the ideas and how everything is going to come together like it just looks really good and i'm very happy with how everything looks overall i'm excited oh, you guys thank you so much for tuning in Please be on the lookout. In the next week, I have a really, really huge announcement to make. I'm so excited. Um, I think you guys are gonna be excited also. Um, like I said, I've been working on this 
for about six months and then the last two and a half weeks I literally have been recording everything for what I've been working on and everything like that but like I said I have a video coming out to give you a full explanation of everything and again I'm really excited I'm very happy I don't really know what else to say because at, when I think about it, I'm just really proud of myself for stepping out of my own fear and doing something that I've wanted to do for a long time now. And I've just been extremely fearful to do it. And so finally, I was just like, you know what? If I don't trust myself and make this investment, I can't possibly start to think that other people should make an investment in me. And so I'm doing the damn thing, y'all. I'm doing the damn thing. So, yeah. I hope you guys support it. I hope whoever purchased it that you, well, first of all, it's not even a I hope because people who are not even interested have fallen in love with it. So I did a, I did a, um, what do you call it? A survey. I did a survey. I did a survey with someone, not someone, well, someone. I did a survey with someone who's in the industry, out the industry, have absolutely no interest in the industry, and across the board, they were like, oh my gosh, girl, this is so good, so I'm excited, anyway, hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time, it's probably going to be a little bit before I record again, because your girl's going on, uh, I don't know, <laughs> but I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>